All right, so I told a couple people online that I would make videos on my 22 Ford F-350. Uh, this is my 22 F-350, and uh, my build so far is, uh, well, I've added the uh, Magnum back rack, I've added a light bar, and that thing really shoots out pretty far. Uh, Weather Guard toolbox. Um, I did uh, Ford, uh, uh, the OEM accessories, uh, mud guards. I didn't use that metal plate that hangs in the inside because these bolts were more than enough. And uh, I just didn't like that. I didn't like the look of the plates, so I didn't use those. Um, but all of the, all of the uh, mud guard weights were powder coated black. Um, you can buy the black option, but the black option, all they do is they wrap the chrome in uh, vinyl. And uh, it just, it looks cheap. So um, I had it stripped down and uh, powder coated along with uh, all the brackets. They were all uh, textured black powder coated. And then um, I have the worn wrench. Now, um, that's, this is what this video is about today is, is this worn wrench worth $3,000 when you order your truck or even if you buy it aftermarket? And um, in my opinion, it's, uh, it's a 50-50 yes and a 50-50 no. So 50 yes, 50 no. But uh, to me, if I were to do this differently, would I have purchased this winch with my Ford uh, F350 build? I'm gonna say no. Um, first off, let's say the good things about the winch. The good thing about the winch is it's rated at 12,000 pounds, which is pretty substantial for a, a winch of this size. Um, so you can do a lot with the winch. You can definitely pull with it. You can definitely get yourself out. I mean, this truck has a weight of about 7,900 pounds. So pulling your truck out, if you ever slip off the road or just ever mess up and do something stupid and you need to get, like, get out of a sticky situation, this winch is definitely going to be there for you. Now, aside from the fact that it sits in the bumper very cleanly and... Um, yeah, it, it just sits cleanly in the bumper and um, it's a good weight, 12,000 is a good starting weight for a winch. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all this winch has going for it. It's uh, it's relatively easy to install. I had to do the install because the dealership was so far behind and was not able to install my winch for at least two months. And I was like, you know what? I bought it, I want it installed. So I'll just do it myself and I did it myself. And um, during that install, I made zero damages on the front bumper. Now, um, this uh, plate on the front, the Fairlink plate, it, uh, it's actually defective. This side hangs out a quarter inch further than this side, so the, the plate was actually bent crooked. Uh, so I have a new one in the truck, they sent it to me under warranty. And then I was thinking, you know what, it was very hard to get this part from, uh, from Warren, or, but because I, I had to go through Ford Performance. So it's very hard to get that part. And then I was like, I started to think, what if I need other parts for this thing? What if I need to service this? And um, I got an email the other day after requesting some part numbers and some prices for parts for this winch setup. And what uh, the Ford Performance tech line told me is that as of right now, there are no serviceable parts for this winch. If you want to buy parts um, to fix your winch, you are stuck at buying a whole new winch kit. So, the minute something on the market comes up to where the adaptive uh, cruise control is uh, functional, um, this winch will definitely be getting removed and swapped uh, for one that is uh, your traditional framed style winch. Now, this is this is a 12,000 uh, 12, pound winch, but it's also not a conventional 12,000 pound winch. It is a small drummed body uh, winch with, with 70 foot of rope. So the potential of it jamming up is, uh, it's pretty um, likely. Now, I've used this winch about a half a dozen times over the past uh, uh, about two months. And then the first week I had it, I used it about another four. So I've used this winch about 10 times. And 90% um, of the time when I went to go free spool this winch, it was jammed up. Now, in the directions, they're going to say to flip two bolts on your splitter. Those two bolts are going to be located right in here. You're going to flip those upside down and insert the uh, seat or the um, J-clips to where the, the bolts go through the top and not the bottom. So that way the excess thread is not, protrude, or not protruding 
and touching the rope. Now the problem with that is you're supposed to run the synthetic um, cover they give you because this passenger hook is supposed to be where this goes. Now, I had a problem with it jamming up and uh, it was, uh, I can definitely tell it was jamming up because it actually tore the cover. And then the one time I just couldn't get it out at all. So I had to go back, get the remote. I had to, clip on. I had to pull it in, push it out, pull it in, push it out. And then finally it created enough slack on the drum for me, for me to be able to pull the rope and the cover out of the winch. So that is one of the, the drawbacks about a winch of this size. This is a one-off winch, so go into warrant for parts. They're gonna, they're gonna tell you that we have nothing to do with it except for the manufacturing of it. And you can't buy parts from them for this winch. Um, so you're up in the air about this winch. I would reconsider it. Um, if you don't have adaptive cruise control, then I would say absolutely not. Do not buy this winch. Buy um, a mid-frame mount winch and uh, the mounting plates from uh, from uh, Warren because they have a they have a whole setup that allows you to uh, put a winch on this and it's not ugly and it but it just doesn't go behind the bumper. Now they do offer one that goes behind the bumper, but it will literally pull your bumper out to like right here, which is crazy ridiculous. I mean, it's like a bench. So I'd stay away from that one. But also, if uh, you don't have the cruise control, I would highly recommend that you don't buy this uh, inside bumper uh, winch setup. Now you can get that uh, that uh, mount for the bumper. Uh, I wanna say it's like 700 bucks, plus then you got another 500 bucks for the actual winch plate. And then you have whatever winch you decide to pull. But since it's a universal style mounting point, you don't, you're not required to run a worn winch if you don't want to. You can find a cheaper winch somewhere else. Hell, you can even run a Harbor Freight winch if you wanted to. You can run any winch. One from Tractor Supply, one from Harbor Freight, one from anywhere. Um, just 12,000 pounds or whatever the plate that you buy is rated for. Um, so that's one of the things that you should consider if you're buying this truck and you don't have adaptive cruise control. Now, if you do have adaptive cruise control, I'm going to say that you kind of got to, you kind of got to figure out whether or not having a winch is one of those things where you absolutely need it or if you don't need a winch then I would say just don't get it I mean it's nice to have but if you don't absolutely need it then just don't get it I mean there's other options um, but if you do have the adaptive cruise control which is a box that'll sit right back here and it will not work through a, a sheet of metal and that's where I, a lot of other companies out there who make bumpers they're gonna let you know that hey your adaptive cruise control will not work so you're gonna either have to fabricate some type of mount on the exterior side of the bumper uh, to make it work but um otherwise uh you're just gonna have to disable it and uh, go without so if you have adaptive cruise control and you do need a winch then i would suggest that maybe you do look at this option but try to buy it from a source besides the Ford dealership because on a Ford dealership order you're going to pay three thousand dollars and I've seen these winch setups go on Summit Racing for about twenty four hundred dollars but I'm going to guess that twenty four hundred dollars there's going to the huge difference of makeup cost right there is going to be what they're going to charge you to ship now that winch when it comes to Ford arrives on a pallet and uh, two boxes so I can only imagine how much it's going to cost you to get it shipped from Summit Racing. It's probably not going to be free. So you're probably going to be looking at about 27, 2800 bucks total for that winch. So you're only going to save about 200 bucks. But if you want to put it on your order just so you can finance it, then go for it. But um, yeah, I'm, overall, it's a good winch. It does work. There is drawbacks. The drawbacks, like I said, are the fact that when you pull the rope in, it'll tend to jam up um, for the next time you use it. It's not jamming up while winding in. I'm just saying that when you flip the flip the clutch to free spool and then you grab it and try to pull out the rope, it wants to be stuck. And I'm not sure if that has something to do with the size of the drum and how much rope there is. I now, I now have the two splitter bolts out and I'm, I don't have them in at all. And um, I haven't really experienced a jam but also I'm not running that cover anymore. Instead of having the protective sleeve on it, what I did is I picked up uh, this isolator from AEV 
and now I just uh, I just pull the rope in all the way so that way I don't have too much exposed rope because that's what that rope's for or that's what that cover's for while it's not in use it's meant to be there to keep the uh, UV from um, eating through the rope and then it's also there when uh, you go to use it to protect the, uh, the actual rope so I mean it takes two seconds to put on so you just put it on when you go to use it and then take it off when you're storing it but I put it right there um, so that way my rope is in and um, I'm not getting any damages now uh, as far as like the mounting points for like the hook you're supposed to put it here but what I found out is that if uh, you leave it too loose it rattles and will start damaging the plastics and uh, my concern was that it was that it was gonna start banging off my bumper so um, I just decided that you know what it's not really worth the hassle of um, trying to get the hook undone in the first place because when you pull it in it pulls it pretty tight because um, you don't want it slop, slapping around and banging off stuff so you don't want to leave it loose like with a loop I mean the last thing you want is something banging off an $85,000 truck um, so I pull it in just enough to keep it to, to keep it with a little bit of slack but not too much um, so I, I put it over there the directions are going to say to put it over here but it's up to you. I mean, my tow hooks got pretty much gouged up. It doesn't really matter because the, the hooks, the recovery hooks, so I'm not concerned about that too much. I was just more concerned about the, the vibrational damage it was going to cause on the plastics and on the bumper itself. Um, but if, if you're interested in this winch, then uh, look into it a little bit more. It is a $3,000 option. I know $3,000 to some people isn't really much. It's, that's changed. But to somebody who's a hard worker, a hard um, person to just uh, want to get stuff done, always on the hustle, always trying to make some money, then uh, yeah, um, it's one of those things where you should uh, you should consider getting this winch. It'll definitely work for you, but you're going to experience some difficulties here and there, and um, it's whether or not those uh, difficulties to you are worth the uh, worth the stress and the time to undo like if you had to go roadside and be winching people out all the time then I would suggest that this is not a good option because you never know when you're going to get in a jam and you never know how long it's going to take you to be able to pull the rope out the first time I experienced the situation it was a surprise to me and it probably took me about a good 20 minutes to figure out how to get the rope out I mean I was pulling on it yanking on it uh, laying on the ground putting my feet against the bumper trying to pull it out that way man it did not come out so i was like you know what let me try the remote and normally you don't need the remote to get the rope to come out so i put i engaged the clutch i pushed it i pushed the rope so it would come out and then i used the, the remote to pull the rope back in and then i did it like, pushed it out again pulled it back in and then finally it created enough roll off slack on the drum to be able to pull the rope out far enough to grab a good grip on it and then it finally unspooled. So, I mean, it was a real hassle. Um, so, uh, I guess just take this review as a grain of salt. It is worth it, but in the end, it also isn't worth it. So I'm non-biased about it. I like it and I don't like it. So my, my opinions on the winch are a 50-50. Yes, it has its flaws. Yes, it does good. So yes, it is worth it. Yes, it also isn't worth it. I mean, it's up to you to decide, but for $3,000, I was really disappointed the fact that this is a non-serviceable winch. It's a non-serviceable kit. You can't buy parts. I actually have emails telling me that you can't get any parts for these. And um, if you do need parts, then you're, you have to buy the kit. And that's what, that's what threw me off the first time. It was like, wow, I just paid $3,000 for this winch, and now you're going to tell me that I can't service this if I need things and that I have to buy a whole new kit and Ford and Warren aren't on the same table about what's going on with this winch. Ford worked with Warren to produce this winch. Warren produced the winch for Ford, but now neither one of them knows who to get parts from. Uh, I called Warren, they gave me a part number, I went to Ford, Ford told me I have to go to Warren and I've been going back and forth and nobody has any idea so i'm not sure if this winch is just too new or what's going on but uh, it's not really settling to me when you pay three thousand dollars for something 
to basically be a takeoff and throw off when uh, it doesn't work. So I'm a little upset about that, but all right guys, but that's it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna post a lot more videos on this uh, truck. I got a whole bunch of things, but um, I just uh, I get real sidetracked when I'm posting videos and I just can never make a video in one shot since I'm shooting it on my iPhone. Um, but um, I got a lot of videos coming up, a lot of things I like about this truck, a lot of things I don't like about this truck. Now my next video, uh, just in case you are interested and want to do and do want to subscribe is going to be about the truck bed on this uh, 22 Ford F350. I'm going to go over the things that are good and the things that are bad about it and then uh, we'll go from there. Thanks. Bye.